<coughs> School bells. I wish I had these. Younger years are core years. The beginning of school is very important for mental and social growth. I don't know what exactly was happening or where I was kindergarten. in kindergarten. I, o I could only imagine if I went to school. I could only imagine. I don't know what exact. Okay, so. I'm sorry, I just found out bad news and I don't know what I did. I could only imagine if I even went to school, but if I did, I'm sure I was or would have been so happy and loved the time away from all the crap the bios put me through, the yelling, the abuse. I also could have, I also could have been in the system. In that case, I might have been sad going to school if I was treated right, or if I wasn't, I would have been happy and. Uh, about going. I'll never know. By the pictures I have seen of myself. <sighs> hey, I'm trying to be more mad. <laughs> okay. Um, by the pictures I have seen of myself when I was younger, I look horrible. I look terribly miserable. Dirty, scared, just unhappy. I was, I was always in bratty clothes. My hair was always knotted and greasy. But I never like I never got bathed. I had always I always had sad eyes and bags under my eyes from no sleep or lack of good sleep. Um, now that I think about it, I don't know. I don't think I went to school kindergarten to second grade. I don't know. I didn't go to school. I literally like okay second grade. I know I didn't go to school third grade. I remember that. I know all of that because when I was nine, I got placed with Jessica and Joey Page, my parents now. I got adopted by them, um, but when I, they got me, I was on a kindergarten level. And at nine years old, I was clearly not taken care of like I should have been before my parents took me in. That also includes foster care and foster families and like all kinds of crap like that. Um, so not just bio families, but you also get mistreated by, um, you know, foster care and foster parents because, you know, um, yes, don't mind me. You know, gotta do what you gotta do, hey? Alright, let's try this again. Alright. came to live with my parents. They had my sister and we had visits. Um, we did that for a while, but one day they called me and asked if I wanted to live with them. Um, it was an obvious yes. Before they even hung up, I went straight to my room and started packing. I threw all my stuff in bags and wanted to know if they could get me right now. Uh, they told me I couldn't, that they couldn't yet. They had to go get the, they had to get the court and ask the court to let me come live with my sister. I felt like I was on cloud nine. I never thought that, that day would come. A couple days later, I moved in with the pages and my older sister, Bailey. I started school as soon, bleh, as soon as I started school, I remember visiting Chloe in her class room and mom enrolled me. I was super excited to start school. I had no idea what to expect. It was all new to me. The first, er, uh, sorry. Uh, when I first started school in fourth grade, that was basically my first day as if I was starting my first day of preschool. Uh, reason being is because yes, I might have went to like other schools, but that was, um, that was the first home that I wasn't being abused in, so when going to school is different whenever you're actually being taken care of. It, it makes a difference, I promise. Do some research. Um,
Mm, not super easy, but super nice. Um, my first day, it was as if I was starting preschool. I had a good family, finally, and was able to start school. I was excited to say the least. My first non-scary visit to the doctor, the dentist, the eye doctor. And I was nervous, but they all were great. I had good experiences for the first time. My mom tells me when she got, whenever she first got me, I was scared of everything. I thought everything was bad and everyone was out to get me. I would barely ever speak. I was super sweet, but it's like I was always waiting for something bad to happen because that's what I was used to. But I always, but I also really loved when my mom would play with my hair and did it up all cute. Food was everything. I also wanted food. I also always wanted food. I was always wondering when I would get my next meal because I was starved in my past. I didn't come with hardly any clothes at all. They kept everything extra I earned. I was upset about that. Talking about the, uh, uh, the foster parents before the, before my parents got me. Um, I didn't come with hardly any clothes, and they kept anything extra I owned. I was upset about that. I remember they had a cat. My new family had a cat. We still have that cat. His name is Bobo. Uh, it was always war with me and him. Uh, Bobo, I hated that cat. He would always chase me and bite me and scare me. It was terrifying. But now looking back, it's funny. I still do not like Bobo. Uh but we do not bother each other anymore. My mom also tells me I was a sweetheart and loving child. I absolutely loved babies and I had one by my I had to have one by my side all the time. Everyone today always tells me that I'm going to be a great mom someday. Mom tells me I love dress up. Dress up was everything. I never had so many clothes. Alright, so sorry I had to like stare at me with the stupid tissue in my, my nose, but so here's the pictures from, the first picture is of me on a uh, bio visit, and that is my grandmother's dog, uh, her name's like, Yin Han, I think, uh, it's Grandma, Granny Kina, or whatever, and I just, I don't like her. I mean, I love her, I crafted up this thing. whatever, it's it's not that I don't like her, just, I don't know, just, she's always on us with things. I'll explain that later, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, that was on a visit, that was um, my grandma's dog. This is my first selfies ever, aren't they funny? Like, I mean, they're like, can you see them all? Like, some of them didn't even show my face, like, it's hilarious. And then this is me dressing up, because I loved it. But little bows and little dresses. And yeah. <laughs> With my little makeup done. Yeah. Alright. Um, so I will finish this tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we will leave off. We will start chapter 5. So. Yes. Good night. Sweet dreams. And uh, or good morning. Depending on whenever you're watching this.